have you got an old, awesome, outdated graphics card that you just want to play COD MW3 with? And you know it can run it. I know it can run it. I know my R9290X can run it. And it can run it damn awesome. So let's do a bypass video on how to get rid of this stupid error message. The error should look something like this. Your GPU driver version blah 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 does not meet the minimum requirement for running Call of Duty MW3. Well, this is 3, but it's still got the number 2 error. To ensure best performance and functionality, you go to the manufacturer website and download and install the latest drivers. So how do we bypass this? Well, it's pretty much the same way as we did in number two with a registry editor trick. I'm currently running a R9 290X graphics card from, I believe, 2013. So it's no wonder this error is coming up. So let's see what happens when we click the play button with an R9 290X. And there's the error we're talking about. So let's go ahead and get rid of that error via the registry. So click on start, type in registry editor or regedit. That should bring up your registry editor. And you're going to need H key local machine, system, current control set, video. And you're going to need to find the one with the folders in it. For my one, it was the, I think the fifth one down and it's got, this is a whole bunch of video cards, but it was the top one. So four zeros, click the folder and you're going to need to look for Radeon software version and release version. And you'll see the old one there. So I just went and checked out what was the actual latest drivers from the AMD website. And that was 23.9.3, as you can see there. So we're just going to replace the version with 23.9.3. There we go, the software version. And also the release version as well. You'll need to replace both of those for the game to launch. So let's head back over to the um, Steam and um, try and launch the game after changing those settings in the registry. Uh, is it going to launch or won't it launch? Will it? There we go. Now after you change those versions, it's going to need to rebuild the shaders. You might get an error message like this. The patch files may be corrupted, but if you press yes or no, it will close down and reopen anyway. So we'll go ahead and do that. Just launch the game again. You may have to do a, a uh, scan as well.
Well, there we go, boys. You're in. Enjoy MW3 on your old graphics card. Yeehaw.